Hello, this is Orun Talukdar from Nanoked India. I will uh, try to show you how you can convert PDF drawing into DWG using Nanoked 8.5. So this function is available from uh, Nanoked 8.5 versions only. Earlier it was not there in Nanoked. So I need to open NanoCAD Pro 8.5. You can use plus for the same, no problem. You'll get the functions from file and then import PDF. So just uh, I have some informations in PDF. So uh, this is the PDF I have. I got some uh, piping in the PDF so as you can see all the data in PDF so what, what I want that all the informations in this uh, PDF to be import in NanoCAD and uh, I will save the file as a DWG so that I can edit uh, on that particular CAD files so one thing we need to remember that not all the PDFs we can import and uh, convert into DWG using NanoCAD. There are certain limitations. Uh, limitations. Uh, I mean, all the PDFs you are getting from other CAD platforms that can be imported and and uh, convert as a DWG as it is. But all the documents you are receiving from the scanners. In other words, all the raster PDFs you are receiving that cannot be converted in NanoCAD to produce DWG. So the input should be vector PDF. Let's go ahead and uh, see how we can import that uh, PDF into NanoCAD 8.5. So basically, if you go to help and click on about you can see this is 8.5 so nanocad 8.5 let's go to file and the function is called import pdf click on the import pdf and uh, the folder is this select the pdf and uh, click open so the moment remember that this this functionality in P, in nanocad can handle multi-page PDF easily. As you can see, there's uh, one page, so it, it, it's basically showing the page number one. So if you have number of uh, pages in a single PDF that can be imported in NanoCAD and convert into DWG. There are a few settings um, in, in the dialog box, PDF import, you need to specify the locations you can uh, specify the locations on screen or you can uh, uh, you can uh, scale during import and there are some PDF informations that uh, that you can manipulate and uh, you can create layers to settings and at the same time you have two options uh, import as block or you can uh, import as group or just if you don't really want to create block or group just leave it so it will be imported as a normal dwg drawing so all the geometrical primitives will be separate uh, separated from uh, one from another so all the uh, text circles will be separate geometrical entities so now let's say open by clicking OK. Now it will ask you the locations where you want to insert the drawing. If I say 0, comma 0, so it will take the insertion 0, point 0, comma 0. So it, it will take some time depending upon the size of the drawing. Now as you can see this is just a cat file now there is no pdf there is a text and uh, 
is the rows in lines, all the lines, and all, all these are all vector entities. These are all vector entities. So few things you you need to update, but the conversions will be 100%. So if you need, you can update the same. Just uh, before updating things, I can go and say save as the same folder. I will say I will save this as a dwg. So save. Close the file and go to open and the same folder. Go to open. There you go. So now all the things you had in the PDF that is converted and uh, I saved all the informations into DWG now. So all the updates I need that I can that I can uh, perform on this one. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching. If you uh, need to discuss anything uh, regarding uh, this NanoCAD functionalities or PDF, you, you can uh, comment below or you can reach to our support. We'll uh, surely help you. Thank you very much for your time.